In this video, I'm going to give a description of what patellofemoral pain syndrome is and if and how we can diagnose it. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tudors. Patellofemoral pain syndrome, or PFPS, typically refers to anterior knee pain usually occurring during activities such as running, squatting, or walking up and down stairs. Patients of all age categories are affected and the condition can persist for multiple years in up to 60% of cases. So what is causing the pain? Loading of the patellofemoral joint during weight-bearing activities on a flexed knee is thought to be altered due to various reasons leading to pain. One hypothesis is abnormal patellofemoral joint alignment and morphology of the trochlea. Consequently, the patella can track smoothly up and down, which over time can cause irritation of the joint surfaces and trigger nociception. Secondly, muscle weakness of the quadriceps and glutes is a potential risk factor associated with PFPS. This is because poor strength and function in the quads will influence how the patella tracks in the trochlea and how load is distributed across the patellofemoral joint. Weak glutes, on the other hand, can alter the leg axis if the femur adopts a more internally rotated position with regards to the tibia, again impairing smooth movement of the patella within the femoral trochlea. On our channel you will find proposed diagnostic clusters for PFPS, but all of them only demonstrate weak clinical value. You can find the clusters by clicking the info icon in the top right corner. Essentially, Asking a patient whether they have anterior knee pain while squatting is the best available test to date as PFPS will be evident in 80% of people with this finding. But PFPS has to be seen as a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning the diagnosis is formed after all other possible pathologies have been excluded. Alright, I just mentioned that you'll diagnose PFPS only after excluding other pathologies, so be sure to check out our knee assessment playlist on the left. A collection of all tests, including evidence and description, can be found in our assessment ebook. Check the first link in the video description or click the icon in the bottom left corner of the screen for more info. Before you leave, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and check out our other social media pages. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.